Grade 6 math number 4.9, problem solving, multi-step fraction operations. Well, we know that when we do word problems, we need to choose a strategy. We can work backwards, solve a simpler problem, choose an operation, use a model or a formula, or draw a diagram. We're going to use models and draw diagrams for these. When we try to solve multi-step word problems or equations, we need to circle the question, underline or circle any important information, and check to make sure we've answered the question that was asked. So we read the problem, we ask, what do we need to find? What info do I need to use? How will I use the info? And then we solve the problem and check to make sure it's right. That's basically what we do to solve a word problem, okay? That's the format. All right. So Emma had a two and a half pound bag of peanuts, and every day she went to the park to feed the squirrels a fourth of a pound. So how many days did she feed the squirrels? So I underlined the important parts and circled the question. How many days did she feed the squirrels is what we need to find out. So it's important that we know she has a two and a half pound bag of peanuts and that she uses one fourth pound every day. So even the word every day is important, isn't it? So we're going to find how many days she fed the squirrels. She had a two and a half pound bag of peanuts and she used a quarter pound per day. We're going to divide the two and a half by one fourth to find the days. Two and a half divided by a fourth becomes five halves because two times two is four plus the one is five and we make an improper fraction out of the two and a half. That has to be divided by a fourth. So to divide fractions, we turn it into a multiplication problem and turn the one-fourth into its reciprocal of four over one. Now we can cancel out the two and the four to a one and a two. Two goes into two one time, it goes into four two times. Now we can just multiply across and get ten over one, which is ten days. If we had two and a half and we split it into fourths, the first one split into fourths, the second one split into fourths, and then the half gets split into the fourth sizes. There's ten pieces, see? Ten. To check it, we multiply the ten over one. We divide the ten over one by the four over one, which means we multiply the ten over one by its reciprocal one-fourth, and we get ten over four, which is two and a half, see? That's how we did it backwards. I just kept it as ten over one, and 4 over 1, because it made it easier, I would have had to do that anyway. See? All right. Of a 40-pound bag, Tala still has 31 and a fourth pounds of bird seed. If her bird feeder can hold 2 and a half pounds of seed, how many times will she be able to refill it before needing to buy more? So I circled how many times will she be able to refill it, because that's what we need to find. I underlined the 31 and a fourth pounds and that the bird feeder can hold two and a half pounds because those were the important pieces of information. Now, do you see how the 40 pound bag could have confused us and we might have thought that that was an important bit of information? It wasn't though, because that's what she had before. She still has that much, so that can confuse you, see? All right, so we're going to do 31 and a fourth divided by two and a half. So we need to turn 31 and a fourth into an improper fraction. 31 times 4 is 124. We add the 1 numerator and we get 125. Now we have 125 over 4 divided by 5 halves because this is 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 is 5 over 2. See? Now we have 125 over 4 times the reciprocal 2 fifths because we flipped it around. Now we can cancel out. The 2 and the 4 cancel out to a 1 and a 2. 2 goes into 2 one time, it goes into 4 two times. And the 5 and the 125 can cancel out as a 1. 5 goes into 5 one time, and it goes into 125 25 times. See? So we can even have a big number like that when we cancel out. Now we multiply across and we get 25 over 2. When we Reduce it to its lowest terms. 2 goes into 25 12 times with a half left over. See? And if we used our drawing, we could see, because we know it's 2 and a half pounds a day, or each time she holds it, not necessarily a day, but every time she fills it, it's 2 and a half pounds. So each feeder is 2 and a half. If we have 2 of them, then we have 5 pounds. So if we have 4 of them, that would be 10 pounds. If we have 12 of them, 
that would be 30 pounds, and there would be 1 and a fourth pounds left over from the 31 and a fourth, and then we know that 1 and a fourth is half of 2 and a half. See, 1 and a fourth plus 1 and a fourth makes 2 and a half. So we can see we would have 12 and a half bird feeders full. See? And we check it by doing the inverse. We keep it in its improper form, 25 over 2. And we're going to multiply it by 5 over 2. Not the reciprocal. We multiply it by the 5 over 2. And we get 125 over 4, which reduces to 31 and a quarter. See? So problem solving, either drawing a diagram or using models, it's very important to figure out what we need to find. And following this format, this method, will help us, OK? This would be a good thing to write down in the notebook, don't you think? Yeah, it could be really helpful for f solving word problems. I'll see you next video. We're almost through with our fraction section. I'll see you next video. Bye.